Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and friends and colleagues, and professors, and media public. Uh, my name is Kyung Hoon, and thank, thank you for joining me tonight. I will be talking about ornamentation and embellishment in the box creation today. Before I go into detail, I want to ask one question. Oh, this is not a trick question, it's for the question. What's the most common phrase that we use all the time in our conversations or life except hello, hi, how are you, how's it going? Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, yes, thank you. So thank you is the word that we phrase that use a lot. But if you want to thank him or her even more, what would you say? Yes, oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. But what if you want to thank more? How would you say? I appreciate it. Yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so, well, music is considered as language. Yeah, thank you so much. Really. Yeah, music is, is considered as language. So, like language in the music, if you want to express a little more, if you want to say something more, you can use ornamentation or embellishment. It's like the adverb or adjective in, in the language. So ornamentation looks like this. This is a table of ornamentation of the French composer Van der Berg. And but we are not gonna go into detail in this table, so you don't have to worry about this. I'm just showing that this is the ornament. And the embellishment looks like this. So this is this found on some second English script, and then Bach himself wrote the embellished version of this found on which looks like this. Before and after. It's like a straight hair and a perm hair. It's much more elaborated, right? So, uh, well, I don't want to use very like academic or dry explanation for this term, so I just came up with this definition. So ornamentation is small and short decoration. And embellishment it's long and flourishing, and sometimes a very improvisatory decoration. So what I did in this in preparing this presentation was I looked into two sarvans in English script, English script two and three, because Bach himself wrote the embellished version of sarvan for these two dance scripts. And then I looked at this, I looked at those two, and analyzed it and thought how Bach himself embellished his sarvan. And then I decided to apply those rules or tools that Bach used to slightly less decorate sarvan in French script. So this is the sarvan from second English script. And if you compare those red boxes, the bot top and bottom, then you can see how how much he elaborated. So embellishment is not like, um, like not like ornamentation. Ornamentation is much more like more than here, trill there, turn here. But embellishment is more like a melodic variation. So if you look at the the fifth bar in the first system, this was elaborated. Melody, he buried those melody elements. 
Bacon. He, he, al he also used those ornaments in the first original version of Song of Song, but in the repeat and not repeat. In the embellished version, he lengthened some trills or add more trills or change the type of trills. That's another way of making an embellishment. And this is the second half of the same English twist. And then you see this long scale, the beginning of the second half. This becomes Two 
flash mode at the beginning can uh, uh, can get so the concept of the switch a little bit better. Another example in the bubble. Or maybe I missed it, or maybe I did it with enough. But there is a 
certain way of uh, uh, okay, method that Bach used when he did that way. So basically, the contour is it goes up to C and come back to B flat. But
be so long that you can't really apply a lot of embellishment, not only ornament. Then what's the, what is the standard? What's the criteria? Usually it's about tempo. If it's slower, you have more chance to add notes. If it's fast, then you cannot. So I kind of listed some, uh, the list of the dance movement according to the tempo. The sarama is the slowest one. And jig is probably the fastest one. But it's not always like that. Some kurang, French kurang can be just moderate tempo. But Italian corrente can be really fast. Even though it's a jig, sometimes it's possible to add more ornament than the slower movement. But usually jig has a lot of contrapuntal melodies, at least three voices. And it's fast, so it's practically impossible to add ornamentation. So these possibilities depend on the complexity of texture and melody contour. Oh, I should read from here. Complexity of texture and melody contour affects the possibilities of additional ornament and embellishment. So then what if, if you have a piece that are already ornamented or already complex? So I think probably everyone uh, knows this, but I would suggest first option is just to play a few ornaments the first time. Even though it's written, you omit some of them. And then in the repeat, you play all of them. Because the point of having the ornamentations and embellishments is to emphasize the first sentence. Thank you, thank you so much. You probably wouldn't say thank you so much, I appreciate, appreciate it, and thank you. It has a lesser e effect. So the point of this is having more ornaments in the repeat. But also, you can do all the ornaments as it's written, and then second time, you can change the type of ornament or length of the ornament. And then even just changing this uh, length or type of the ornament can give a little more freshness to the listener and it will catch the listener's ear. So it's a, it was a long talk, but well, thank you for listening to me. So now I will play the C minor French fifth. And if you have a copy of uh, the Saraban, then you, if, if you pick up the center, yeah, I only and it's Sarabans because Sarabans is the most embellished one. So when I play Sarabans, I want you to look at the score and then how I embellish it. And then 